දැන් සිග්නල් හර්බල් 99ක් විශ්වවිද්‍යාල සමග සටන් කරයි The government of India has already supplied 16 million dollars in humanitarian aid to Sri Lanka It has exported 100,000 tons of organic fertilizer to try to help farmers stave off future food shortages and it has supplied 3.5 billion dollars in lines of credits to the government of Sri Lanka as it attempts to steer its economy out of default and further collapse. Contrast this with the People's Republic of China, which has been an increasingly eager creditor of Sri Lankan governments since the mid 2000s. Indeed, over the past two decades, China became one of Sri Lanka's biggest creditors, offering often opaque loan deals at higher interest rates than other lenders and financing a raft of headline grabbing infrastructure projects with often questionable practical use for Sri Lankans including a massive port that generated little income and was barely used by ships an equally massive airport dubbed the emptiest in the world because it attracted so few passengers and the country's tallest tower that was built as a tourist attraction yet has never unfortunately opened to the public now that economic conditions have soured beijing has promised lines of credit and emergency loans this is critical since beijing is estimated to hold at least 15% of sri lanka's foreign debt but calls to provide more significant relief have so far gone unanswered and the biggest question is whether beijing will restructure debt to the same extent as other bilateral creditors i've had many conversations here in india and with other partners this challenge is not unique to sri lanka many debt distressed countries in africa and asia are hoping that their calls will be answered It is really essential that Beijing participate in debt relief transparently and on equitable terms with all other creditors. Indeed, some 60% of low-income countries are facing or already experiencing debt distress. Faced with such an extraordinary global food crisis, every country must examine its budgets and policies so that even as we each address domestic needs and contingencies and we know how significant those needs are uh in many parts of the world including here we work together to stave off a much wider catastrophe sri lanka's government was the first to fall there have already been protests related to food and fuel prices in at least 17 countries because of inflationary pressures if history is any guide we know that sri lanka's government will likely not be the last to fall